Tell Me You Want Me is a song that for me represents why as a songwriter sometimes you need to stick to your guns and you need to really believe in the song that you're hearing in your head even though it hasn't like necessarily came into existence yet. You want me to tell you the truth And when life starts to get blurry When I first came into the studio with that song it was me an acoustic guitar and these shell chords and a really rough demo of what I thought the song could be but I could hear it I could hear it in my head I remember getting to the chorus and I remember thinking oh we can like build something on top of it and I didn't necessarily know how to like describe it or how to like articulate it at the time I just knew that I could probably make something out of this if I was given enough time to really really focus on it luckily enough Jacob had a lot of patience with me and I came in, I played a rough demo for him, and he was kind of like doing his classic, like sitting on the swivel and just kind of like listening. And I was like, what do you think? And he's like, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do. I said, I think I hear some horns on it. And the rest of the song, I'm gonna try to play most of the song on number one and two on here. So let, let me... never recorded horns before I've never worked with any horn players before I didn't even know the first thing about what it would take to have like a horn harmony or a horn section in a song and Jacob had you know he, he had recorded some horn section a horn section before for a couple other projects and I was like well let's just try we wrote it on the spot I had like a rough estimate of what I thought the melody was going to be and I definitely wanted to start with the choruses and we came in and I just I remember picking up my guitar and then just kind of writing on the spot I want you to play this exactly I want you to do this exactly and then they would layer out harmonies they would help me out and I had I hadn't written any music for it before and it actually came out great it wasn't up until that the horn section was actually recorded that we were like looking back or actually we were hearing back to the track and we were like oh this is this is a song we can we can do something with this i think very quickly after that we recorded the horn section i think the day after if i'm not mistaken the day after i came in with my guitar and just laid down a whole bunch of guitar tracks and from there we were able to kind of like piece together what was going to be the song <laughs> Once we had the electric guitar stacked and once we had the horn section, I had to give one clean take of my vocals, which took a while at the time, but we had an actual song and we were really, 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 really proud of it. As far as the content of the song, I think, if I remember correctly, now I'm a little unsure about this part, but I think... The night that I wrote like the full kind of section of, of what I wanted to say in the song, I also wrote a, like a really sad song to like match it. And I and I um, I think I was going through a really rough patch at the time with uh, someone, and I kind of had that sentiment. That's this kind of sentiment of like, I really just need you to tell me what it is that you kind of like want. Like and and more importantly like. I kind of need you to say it. And uh, I remember going home and picking up a guitar and saying like, I have this thing that I kind of want, like a, de a declaration, you know, of some sort. But I kind of went about it and I attacked it in two completely different ways. On one end, I think the song, actually, I don't even, I don't even remember the name of the, the, the sadder song that I wrote, but I, I ended up not liking it. So I guess it doesn't matter. But I think I was going for like a real solemn, like moody feel, um, essentially saying the same thing. And then I was like, no, let me try to see if I can like spin it and make something that can be potentially uplifting and maybe attack it in a way where it can end up coming out as like maybe a little more charming. And Tell Me You Want Me came out of it. Oh, if I could do it all again. At this 
point in the story, Tell Me You Want Me is a testament to that. It's a testament of being really excited about somebody, being really excited about something, being really excited about the potential of someone. And that's kind of why this character is like really, really screaming in, in this song, you know, really saying it loud and proud. Like, tell me you want me. Tell me you want me to be here. Tell me you want to call me your lover. Tell me you want to be with me here. Um, because I want you. Just tell me you want me forever. Tell me you want me. Tell me you want me. You 